I'm going to show you how to interpret the meaning of this type of notation and this is called function notation and the way you would read this is this says h of negative 1 but before we get into that discussion I'm going to show you a different situation to kind of give you an idea of what functions are really about have you ever seen a police lineup in a TV show well let me show you how it works here I have a penguin that is standing in position number one I have a zombie standing in position number two and I have an elephant standing in position number three if I were to ask what is the height of the person standing in position number one then I would go to the highest point which is at the tip of the hat and then I just scan to the left and I can see that the height would be three feet six inches I could also ask what is the height of the elephant standing in position number three which is here so I go to the highest point on the body then I scan all the way to the left and I can see the height would be four feet six inches and I could also figure out what the height of the person standing in position number two is by going to position number two and I scan all the way up to the top so the highest point is here and then I scan all the way to the left and it tells me the height is six feet six inches another way we could look at it is I could say who has a height of six feet six inches so since I'm asking in terms of the height first then I start from here and I scan all the way to the right until I meet with one of the suspects which will be standing here and if I scan straight down I see the person with a height of six feet and six inches is standing in position number two I could also ask who has a height of four feet six inches so if I start with the heights over here I start at four feet six inches which is this line here and I go all the way to the right and follow that line until I meet with this suspect here and this suspect here is the elephant and the elephant is standing in position number three and then lastly I can ask who has a height of three feet six inches so I start at the height which is here scan to the right and I see I end up at this position and this is position number one so that's an idea of how functions work so let's look at another example here we have a function represented by the blue line and what I'm going to name this function is called h of x I'm going to let h represent height since we were just talking about height now let's look at what this would be asking so this is saying h of 2 equals and I want to know what the answer is so if you want to answer this question it's just similar to what we talked about with the police lineup we can look at this whatever is in the parentheses and that's saying go to position number two and that's on this axis so who's standing in that position well the elephant is standing in position number two and if I want to know the height of this position right whoever's in this position which is the elephant I just go all the way to the highest point and I can see the highest point is touching the blue line so all I do is trace the blue line back to the number on this axis which is the number three so that'll be my answer I could have asked the following I could have had h of x is equal to 3 so in this context it's just saying who is standing in a position that is equal to 3 and since we're talking about height we're looking at who ha what position has a height of 3 so I'm gonna start at the height of 3 and I can see the blue line represents all heights of 3 now when I scan all this I can see that that touches this point here the highest point on the elephant and if I trace it down I can see that the elephant is in position number two so I know that in this my answer would have been h of two equals three which is what we had the first time so depending on the order it's asked you just gotta figure out where you're starting from if you're in the parentheses is given then you're looking at the position on the x-axis or if you were given this number here so whatever the function is equal to you start on this axis let's look at another problem here we have another function represented by the red line and what we're gonna do is we're going to answer a couple questions so let's look at this question it's saying h of 1 is equal to what so if I want to know what h of 1 is equal to I go to the position because we're in the parentheses it's saying go to position number one and what we're gonna call this position is called an input so a little mathematical term so I'm gonna to go to the input which is on the x-axis 
and go to number one. So I go over here, find it, and it's right here. If I want to figure out what its output is, that's what we're going to figure out. What is the output? I just have to go from one, this position, and I go up until I intersect or I touch the function, the red line. And I see it touches right here at this point. So all I have to do is get the output. And remember, the output is trace it back to the y-axis. So I go back this way, and I can see that the number is 2. So if I have my input is 1, my output is 2. I could also ask h of x is equal to negative 1. So now we have to find the, the input in this case. But we're given the output. So the outputs, we have to start on the y-axis. So I go to negative 1 on the y-axis, which is this axis here. And I go to negative 1. And what I want to do is I want to figure out, okay, who's in the position of negative 1. So I'm going to start scanning to the right until I touch the red line. And I can see, oh, I touched the red line right here. So I just got to figure out, okay, which person is in that position? Or what number is in that position? And I scan up, and I can see that that's position number 2. So this would be h of 2 is equal to negative 1. So if you have a little trouble seeing that, I'm going to show you. Similarly, like when we had a police sign up, look, if I had a person standing at position 2, in this case, since we're looking at it upside down, I could see that in position number 2, this person would have a height right here. This position number 2, this person has a height all the way up to this point. So if I want to know what's the height of this point, I just go all the way over here. It just happens to be a negative 1 because we're looking at it in a different direction instead of facing upwards. So that will be the answer for this one. So you can see in position number 2, that person has a height of negative 1. So that's what, how we got this answer here. Now, if you noticed, that that is not the only direction we could have went. So when I was answering this question, I could have also put a different answer. Let me show you. So h of x equals negative 1 is asking for go to this value negative 1 so if I go to that that's the output value so I go to this axis I'm at negative 1 the first time I went to the right well in this case I could have also went to the left so if I scan towards the left I can see that I also touch the red line at this point so if I want to know the position of this point here I go straight down and that tells me the position is negative 2 so I can see that h of negative 2 is equal to negative 1. So there's actually two answers for this and you can see because the first time it was this person had that height if you think of it in terms of height at negative 1 but if I go to this one I can see that that also the person in position at negative 2 also has a height of negative 1. So there's two possible answers so it depends on what the function is. And then we'll do one more problem this question would be what is h of 0 equal to so I go to position 0 which is also called the input on the x-axis so I look at the x-axis go to position number 0 and then I'm gonna see the height so I go all the way up that's my output we call this an output and the output here I can see is just 3 and if you have trouble seeing it if you think of like the lineup again if I'm standing in position number 0, I can see that my height will be 3 in position number 0. So let's look at one more example without looking at it in terms of the context of heights. So I'm just going to call this function f of x. So that represents this black curved line. So a couple questions I can ask are what's f of 0 equal to? So I go to position 0. This is my input. My input is on this axis. So I go here to 0. And I can see that I don't have to move anywhere because I'm already on the position. So I can see at this point the output is 0. Another question I can ask is what is f of x equal to 1? So in this case I have to find the input. So this is my output. So I go to the output axis which is this one. I go to position number 1 here, that's my output of 1. And now I can see if I scan to the right, I'm not going to touch the black line. So I got to go to the left in this case. So I go to the left and I touch at this point. I just got to figure out what's the input. The input at this point is negative 1. 
So my answer for this would be f of negative 1 equals 1. And you could always check it in, in the regular order if you're used to this format. So I can go to position negative 1, which is my input. And I can see if I go up, my output is 1. So that's my connection. Input, output. One more example to look at is what is f of x equal to negative 1? So if I look at the output negative 1, which is on this axis, I'm located right here, negative 1. And to get to the function, I can see I have to go to the right, so I keep scanning this way, and I touch at this point. So I just got to look at what's the input for this point, so I go up, and I get to this position here, which is position number 1. So my input of 1, which goes here, is equal to negative 1. So if I go to 1, I can see the output, which would be here, matches up with negative 1. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment.